Hello, reformers, and welcome back to Britain Water. Now, when we left off, we had just defeated a rather large defed vassal, and we were about to siege this particular town once again, because we would easily be able to capture it now, but unfortunately, this particular fellow right here with 196 units feels the need to attack us for whatever reason, as he only does have 196 units. I wouldn't be surprised if this fellow over here would want to attack us, but this guy's attacking us solo. Not entirely sure why he's doing this, but we will be heading in and attacking him anyway. Yes. Okay, so we will now be fighting him to the end, of course, and we will use our skirmishers. As you can see, our men have been deployed in range and have moved closer to the enemy, causing them heavy casualties before returning. And look at that. We took out 33, not bad. Let us now charge the enemy. Now, considering these fellows have attacked us, I would assume they are going to charge. So, it might be quite nice if we could get into a good defensive position, although not entirely sure. Yes, it seems as though they are moving. Okay, so, have to get a little ready here, I suppose. Let's get our cavalry all the way over there, just in case, and let's start to move our infantry down as well. As you can see, they are coming from that direction. Yep, that is them right there. Okay, let's get ready. Oh my goodness. Okay, so hopefully what I am going to do is defeat this Gwent vassal, and then move on to the town and siege it once again and then hopefully be able to capture it and be able to defend it from the Gwent 620 strong army. Yes, not entirely looking forward to that at the moment, but hmm, we'll see how it goes because I'm assuming as soon as I start to siege the town, he is going to be rather mad and he is probably going to try to intercept us. So I'm hoping that we'll be fine with that eventually when we actually defeat this fellow here as well, because he does have a substantial amount. It's not anything to be too worried about, but yeah, I am not exactly pleased about him trying to intercept and delay our final siege on the Defed. So yeah, we will hopefully be able to take this guy out very swiftly indeed. So let us now begin to move up quite considerably here. Let's get our cavalry, our small amounts of cavalry at that into position and we will now be charging the infantry in. We will get our cavalry to come up here and I will be charging their missile units as best I can. There we are, two down and I am distracting their cavalry forces which is not bad at all. Our infantry is now engaging. We will now get our cavalry to charge in and hopefully deal devastating amounts of damage. Let's do it. Okay, we took down someone's horse, very nice. Hopefully I will not lose mine. Okay, we're fine. Good. <laughs> okay, I don't really mind if I... Okay. I don't really mind if I do. Uh, I was just about to say that. Amazing, yes. Okay, well... We are now an infantryman, so we'll have to be cautious. But deadly at the same time, I hope. So, let's just wade into the fray right here. Kill all of these enemies. Oh my goodness. Okay, be careful. There we are. Not bad at all, and... Take these guys out. Oh no! Ooh, careful of that cavalryman. Do have to be a little cautious of that, just in case they have some sort of amazing spear attack, which is rather common when it comes to hitting me in the face with it. And it seems as though one enemy is about to rout, and they were successful in their endeavor. So. There we are, that is it. Hopefully that will be all that we have to fight. No, 26 remaining. Ah, that is quite irritating, I must admit. Now, if they do not charge, I think they are actually sending some cavalry units after us, but yes, if they do not charge, then I will be cutting away here because they are only 26, and by the time we actually get over there, it will be another two minutes if they do not charge into us. So, yes, I don't really want to waste your time with such a small group of enemies. I will of course cut back when we arrive near to them. 
Okay, so here we go. We have our infantry charging in, and I will be now charging in our cavalry as well. Hopefully, we will be able to take these guys out without too many issues, and hopefully without losing anyone, as we may need every single soldier we can muster to be able to take on the vassal of... 620 strength. Ouch, that really hurt. I am not entirely sure why I did that. Hmm, interesting. And that as well. But yes, we took 24 damage from that particular fellow. That is not exactly good, is it? No. <laughs> Against 26 units, I got taken out. Really? Wow, that is rather pathetic, I must admit. That is not good whatsoever. Okay. Well... Probably shouldn't have run in there once I had gotten chunked so heavily from their initial assault. But yes, oh well, it seems as though I may actually have to back off a little bit from the town and maybe rest up enough for us to be able to get back to full health, it seems. Hmm, interesting. Well, that fellow did escape, which is always unfortunate, but we do get to take a few prisoners of his. And that will hopefully give us enough cash to somewhat compensate us for me getting taken out. Oh my goodness, and we get a huge amount of battle trophies and war trophies as well, so I am incredibly pleased with that. Let's take some of this as well. There we go. Okay, so I think what we're probably going to want to do now is I would really love to actually get away from here and go to Kassil, perhaps, and sell, but... From what I can tell, there is actually... Oh, yeah. Din Kogan actually became under siege, so... Not entirely sure what we should do here. This guy is going to actually attack us. No, no, he's not. Okay, so... We have 53% HP, so that should be fine for us to do a siege and take this. Hopefully, so... Let's actually get all of our units leveled up in preparation. And... Then, we will build the quickest oh yes 25 hours okay let's do it please do not get intercepted I am hopefully using Din Kogan as a distraction for the 620 strong vassal and hopefully he will not see fit to intercept us at the moment and 12 hours oh my goodness please be done they are actually in Din Kogan as we speak, and yes, they did actually take it from us. Hopefully the 620 strong vassal will not head over here. Oh, he thought otherwise by the looks of things. Aha, we might be lucky. And unfortunately Lady Inca did attempt to stall them, but she was taken out in the process. Very unfortunate indeed. Oh no, please don't. Oh. Yeah. You are not my favorite person right now. This particular fellow right here, he is not very fun at all. Who is this? Uh, okay, well, I could swear that I was very, very close to completing the siege engine right there. That is not very fun at all. Okay, well, we're going to try out some commander options, and yeah, of course, they won't work. Yeah, we are outnumbered, so that's probably the reason. Okay, so... Let us now head in. 48 renowned value for this battle. We are outnumbered for once, which is incredibly strange, I must admit. Ah, uh, damn it. We were so close. We were so close. I could feel it. We were an hour from actually creating the ladders. And then we would be in the town, and we would be able to defend it from the walls from this force. Ah, uh, rather unfortunate. Well, I suppose if we look on the bright side, the Defed were not able to take back Din Kogan, and the Gwent instead took it. So, I'm rather pleased about that, because if the Defed had taken it, then my siege on the town would have been for naught, because they would still be alive, technically, their faction would still be around. And it seems as though this particular enemy force is attempting to charge into us, so... That's actually very strange indeed as well. Usually they do not. Okay, I'm going to get my cavalrymen over there, and I'm going to charge our infantry. Let's do it. Okay, so they are rather sufficiently far away as well, so I'm going to attempt to distract them as much as I can. So let's just charge in here, not get speared in the face as usual, and try to distract them a little bit. Maybe take out one from behind. 
And maybe another one. Yes, thank you very much. I actually took out one of the lords that joined into this particular fray here. And an, a heavy unit as well. Not bad. Okay. I'm actually very pleased with that. Interesting. Usually I'm terrible with hit-and-run attacks, but it seems this is actually working out quite well. I think it might be because I go too deep into the enemy lines and I get stopped. So the main thing to think about, of course, is to be swift and to take out one unit at a time. And don't get greedy, of course, as usually I am rather overconfident when it comes to taking out units, considering my sword is absolutely amazing and I want to use it to the fullest extent of its efficiency. But yes, usually that gets me into hot water. Okay, they have received reinforcements, but from what I can tell, the reinforcements aren't exactly very strong, which is rather strange, to say the least. I am a little puzzled as to why they would actually want to take us on. They do have 550, plus a couple of other vessels in the vicinity, so yeah, I suppose that is probably the reason, and I would like to actually chase after this particular fellow here. Oh my goodness, of course. That is exactly the reason why I must keep my shield up. Why do I not do that? Come on. Yeah, that's what you get, yes. Okay. Well, there we are. At least we took him out. He can stop being annoying, and we can hopefully then drive all of the enemies out of this battlefield. Once and for all. Although this battlefield is actually very nice. I would like to fight here again in the next round, perhaps. Oh. Come on, at least take out some of the heavy units so they can't regroup. Let's do it. Yes, okay, that's good. Not bad, actually. Took out quite a few in that run. Take out their banner carrier. Yeah, there we go. And how about this fellow? Nope. Yes, there we are. And a couple more. Oh, he escaped. He disappeared just as I was about to swing. How lucky was that fellow? Oh my goodness. Okay, well, there we are. We are victorious in the first round. I was not expecting anything different, really, but yeah, as you can see, our casualties are incredibly low, which is very strange, to say the least. We do have our damage modifiers on medium, and I suppose if we increase them any further, we would be facing, well, we would be facing defeat, I would think, because my tactics aren't exactly the greatest. So yes, there we are, 546 against 451. Yeah, not entirely sure, but it seems as though they are a little weaker than I expected. Well, I will cut away, and when our units have arrived near to the enemy, I will cut back. Okay, so here we are. Our infantry are now charging in. So let us go and charge our cavalry in as well and hopefully get to do some rather considerable damage. Oh, careful. Want to be careful of those spearmen, of course. Yes, there we are. Not bad. And come on, let's give us some really nice damage and kills here. Yes, there we are. Not bad. Okay, come on. If we could take out the spearmen, that would be great. Rather unlucky. He is being very slippery indeed, although we did take out his comrade, which is always a good thing. And it seems as though this is a slaughter right here. Not very difficult at all. Hmm. Well, I think what I may actually do after this particular round, what I will do is cut away, and I will do every single round except the final one of these particular battles, and then... We will finish it off there and hopefully be able to then siege the town and take it from the Deferred once and for all. So, yes, that will hopefully save you these rounds that are rather stompish in a way, but yes, not exactly the most stimulating thing, and I'm sure you would like to see the capture of the actual town. So, I will be cutting away once we have seen the casualty report. There we are, very nice. 25 renown and 10 morale, that is great. We only lost 2 to death, and we took out 150. So, yes, they only have 300 remaining. I will be cutting away, and I will see you once they are in their final round.
Okay, here we go. This is the final round, and as you can see, they are currently charging at us with all their renewed vigor. Oh my goodness, I have no idea why they are doing this. This is rather suicidal, but I suppose this is their desperate last attempt to take us down, or take as many of our units down as they possibly can. So, let's actually try to get in here and do some damage. Of course, in the last round, previous to this, I actually had my horse be crippled, so... Not entirely happy with that, but yes, as you can see, it is actually moving incredibly slow. So, yes, we'll have to actually put it in our inventory and let the wound treatment fix it. Yes, and then it will be fast once again. I would like to actually take this guy down, if possible. Of course, he is rather fast as well. There we are, taking him down. Very nice. And they only have 12 enemies remain. And we will be completely fine to do that. Oh, yes. Come on, take him down. Okay, good. Now, before we actually go in to siege the town, I would like to rest up a little bit. As you can see, Barney's HP isn't exactly the greatest. So we will hopefully be able to rejuvenate that a little. Before we commit fully to the siege... Come on, guys, hunt them down. Let's take them down. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Okay, that horse. That is amazing. That damage. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, at least my horse won't die, I suppose. And there we are. There we are. That is the uh, last round. Very good. Okay. So, yes, as you can see, minor casualties. Not bad. We are going to take this guy prisoner. I am not a big fan of him at all. And this guy, yeah, I'm just going to take everyone prisoner. There is no way anyone is getting released. At least until we have made peace with some of them, perhaps. And there we go. So, oh my... Okay, so yes, this is like the greatest time. Look at this! Look at all these war trophies! That is insane! Oh my goodness, okay. Wow. Okay, this is something I never thought could actually happen. This many war trophies. That is insane. Okay. Now, do we have any battle trophies? That is all I want to know. Oh my goodness, yeah, we actually have battle trophies as well. This is insanely good. Okay. Let's take as many as we can. And... Let's see... That is actually all I can take. Oh, no. I can give that. And... There's actually one left. Oh, no. I don't have the space for it. Oh, I don't have the space for it. Okay, I'm going to have to get rid of this cloak. I am sorry. I don't think I will be wearing it anymore. But, yes. Maybe we'll find another one in the future in case I want to wear another. But, yes. There we are. Battle trophies are just so worth it. There is actually nothing else I can do. It's just so amazing. Okay. So, these guys have, let's see here, 200, 250, two, about, yeah, around 270. That's actually not too bad. We do have 516 ready for battle, and we have even more elite skirmishers. Aethne can actually level up now as well, which is very nice. I think we might actually want to do that. And, whoa, 37 of those guys. Wow, that is amazing. Okay, so Aethne has leveled up. I think we want to increase her engineering skill. Yes, I think we do. That would probably help us out quite a bit there. Now, let's just see. Hmm. I think strength for now, and then just increase engineering by another one. So we can build things very quickly indeed, I hope, at least. Okay. There we go. Okay, that's great. So now we only have 3,000 dinars remaining, which is not good. But we will be waiting here for some time, and hopefully no one will see fit to intercept us once again. If they attempt to, I will uh -huh, click on the map very quickly. Okay, so I think we are now ready to go in. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so I am injured a little bit still, but I think I will let my units do most of the talking. And yeah, we will hopefully be able to pull this off and then be able to defend it with all our might. Of course, I think this particular stronghold I will be giving to myself so that I can gain its wages and everything, considering we have worked so hard to actually acquire it. I think I could use 
a little bit of a pick-me-up from all of the losses we have suffered so far. And nice of them to actually open the door for us. That is great. Okay, let's head right in. Do some damage. Or maybe not. Yes, I did say that I was actually going to take this a little bit more cautiously and let my units do the talking. As I said. So, yeah. We might actually want to go through with that, of course. Doesn't hurt to actually get a few glancing blows on them here. As much as I can, at least. Yes, yes, nice damage. Okay, I'm not actually doing any damage now because of course all of my friendly units are shielding me. Yes. It's very nice of them indeed. Let's get in there, push through. Push through troops, we can do it. Yes, here we go. This is exactly what I wanted to happen. So we're no longer in the bottleneck, we can swarm out and we can hopefully do serious damage to their lines now. Take them all down, come on. Oh my, careful. Oh my. This is not a good place to be, that is for sure. Okay, we're fine. Come on, take him down. Yeah, there we are. Nice. Okay, now we obviously have more reinforcements coming in from the side there of the enemies. Okay, I would like to take this fellow down if possible, thank you very much. And no missile troops on the battlements, so obviously all of our skirmishers have seen to that. Yeah, take him down. How dare you try to throw a javelin at me! Oh yes. There we go. Yes, this is going a lot better than the previous siege. Of course, we are outnumbering them quite severely this time around. Of course, before we did actually have... I think we had the advantage, but of course they had the defensive posture, so that is obviously going to help them out quite a bit in comparison to the offense. Go on, take down the flag carrier. Yeah, there we go. Not bad, take down that guy, and now we will have to deal with their missile units that we saw on the roof once again. So, let's just see how we can do right there. I want to just take a look at the map real quick. Okay, so we've taken out 263 units. I think we are definitely in for a win here. So, very pleased about attaining victory. I will not count our chickens, or whatever that saying is just yet, because... We may still have issues, but I don't think so somehow. I will get out my throwing javelins and headshot that guy. Oh my goodness. Wow, that has to be one of the best shots I have ever made. Wow, okay. I'm very pleased with that. Come on, take these guys down. Yeah. No, don't get taken out now. That would be terrible. Okay, we're fine. Yeah, so I will let my troops finish you off. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we are victorious. Yes, finally. Oh my. That actually took quite a while. Okay, so there we are. 38 of our units were still killed. This is an amazing defensive structure, I must admit. We killed 34 personally, so that's actually not bad at all. We will be taking this guy prisoner. And this one. And there we are. The others escaped. How unfortunate. Okay, so now I will be rescuing all of these prisoners. Okay, well, there we are. We are successful in recruiting every single prisoner from their ranks, and we now have 583 in our party. Very nice. So, let us loot, and oh my goodness. I don't actually have any space. Oh, we do have space, because we've used some food, of course. Okay, that is great. I'm very happy with that. Okay, so let's just get rid of this bread mead oh there's so many battle trophies this is so disappointing okay let's just get rid of this even though they are incredibly good for morale it's not helping us out too much oh that axe can go and that as well i'll take some of that beer back thank you okay any other spaces here wine that gives us party morale okay that is great 
I want to conquer it. And I want to be the lord of this. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay. So, now I want to go to the marketplace immediately and trade in all our battle trophies. Stick around for this. This is going to be amazing. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I now have 42,000 shillings. Yes, that is rather impressive, I must admit. That is incredible. That is why you take war trophies, everyone. Amazing things, indeed. Okay, so I will be entering the meat hall. I'm just going to check for a ransom broker. And here he is. That is great. I want to sell all prisoners. 18,000 dinars. Very good. This is how I make money, of course. And... These fellows are sieging it already. Interesting. Well, seeing as we are very pleased indeed at taking this particular stronghold, I will be ending this episode off here. And next time on Britain Walder, we are going to be fighting the Gawise vassals that have turned up to siege our town. So, I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.